So what is File Vault? It's built into Mac OS. What does it do? Let's find out. All right, welcome back to my channel. So today what we're gonna talk about is File Vault. And a lot of people are kind of like, well, what is it, number one? When should I use it, number two? Is it needed on the new M1 Macs or the newer Macs because you know the drives are already encrypted automatically? Number three, and uh, should you use it on older computers? Number four, again, what does it completely do? Exactly, what is it doing beyond you know normal encryption? You know, maybe number five. So let's go through that. We're going to go ahead and learn a little bit about File Vault. And from what I've gathered from Apple's website, using it personally, doing my research on blogs and stuff like that, I think this is a fairly accurate representation of File Vault and why you should use it on Mac OS. And uh, I recommend it personally. I think you should actually use it, and I'm gonna give you some reasons why. There's some specific cases maybe where you do not wanna use it, but again, it's up to you. And I'm gonna show you maybe the main reason, number one reason why you should use it. So stay tuned, let's get into the video. I'm gonna actually share my screen here in a second. And we'll go through everything and just kind of work it all through. It'll be a short video, but it should you know, be a couple minutes, but at least you'll come out of it knowing a little bit more about what it is and should you turn it on, should you leave it off. All right, directly from Apple's website, it says use File Vault to encrypt the startup disk on your Mac. You can see it right here. File Vault full disk encryption, they call it File Vault 2 right now, it uses XTS AES 128 encryption with 256 bit key to help prevent unauthorized access to information on your startup disk. So that's what it is. Now, what I'm gonna do in this video is I'm gonna, number one, I'm gonna show you basically how to set this up, number one. Number two, I'm gonna show you why this is different than what normally comes like in an M1 Mac. So the newer Macs with the T2 chip, especially the M1 Macs have, you know, the disks are automatically encrypted as it is. But this has got a different reason why you would do this and why you'd want File Vault enabled. And I'm gonna tell you exactly what that is. And then number three, I'm gonna show you the pros and cons, why you might wanna do this again and why you may not. There's a couple cases where you may not want to do this. So anyways, long story short, we're going to go ahead and just uncover what this means. So without further ado, let's get into the video. All right, number one, how do we turn this on? So the very first thing you want to do is you want to go up to the Apple icon, System Preferences, you'll see it there, and then go to Security and Privacy right there. And when this window comes up, there's going to be these tabs up here, and you guessed it, it's General, File Vault, Firewall, but go to File Vault. And you'll notice if you have if it's turned on, it'll say it's turned on, and then you already pretty much have it running. A lot of people already do. But if you don't, it says turn on file vault, but it's grayed out. So I'm going to give you a second. What you do is you go down here and click on this little lock. I'm not going to show you my password, but I'm going to do it now and then log in here, and then it'll let you turn it on. So hold on one second. All right, now that I've unlocked everything and down here, that was a password that I used to get into my computer to unlock this. And just keep in mind, if you turn File Vault on, you're, you, you don't you always need a password to log in because that's where the encryption is going to take place when you log in. You know, when you turn on your computer and it opens that disk up, so you're always going to need to have a, a password basically, unless you're kind of in that little bit of time frame where you can use a fingerprint. But you're definitely going to need a password to log in. That's the one thing you can't have like a, a no password. Um, so if you turn this on, we'll go ahead and you know what you do next is it says File Vault secures the data on your disk by encrypting its contents. You will need to your login password, which is what I just said, or recovery key, which I'll show you in a second, to access your data. If you forget both of those, your data is gone for good. Just remember that. So always, you know, disclaimer, make sure you know what you're doing and make sure you save your passwords. So if you want to turn File Vault on, you click Turn File Vault on. It's going to give you two different options. One will allow my iCloud account to unlock the disk. So if I forget my password to my computer, I can still use this to allow my iCloud account to unlock the disk. And, you know, if you don't want to do that, you can go ahead and create a recovery key, the second choice here. That's going to give you a long string of numbers, which you want to write down or take a picture of and store it not on this computer, but store it somewhere where you, like in a safe or something. And that'll be your recovery in case you forget the password as well. So you basically click one of these and you click on it and you, it'll say, you know, it's on right here. I haven't done it yet, but it'll say it's on. It takes a couple hours if you're on an older computer, so definitely do it at a time that makes sense. If you're on like a newer computer, it's a lot quicker. It'll do it in the background and tell you when it's done. So that's how you encrypt it. You can always come back in here and turn it right off. It'll decrypt everything, um, and then it can go right off. So you can turn it on and off, no problem. That's not a problem. So let's go through the video. I'm going to show you the number one reason why you would do this over an M1 Mac. On an M1 Mac right now, um, the disk is encrypted. We know that the data is encrypted. But basically, there's one reason why you would do this on top of that. And let's get into that reason. And then I'm going to show you the pros and the cons of why you would do, you know, File Vault. You know, and so just so you can learn some pros and cons, there's some reasons why you would not as well. 
All right, so the question always is, is why would I need to turn File Vault on if it's already encrypted? The disk is already encrypted on the newer ones. Now on the older Macs, it's not always the case, but on the new ones with the T2 security chip and beyond, um, especially the new M1 Max, you know, your drives are encrypted. Um, but again, it, this is one different case that it protects against. So the main reason you turn File Vault on is this exact case. If you have a laptop or something and you're traveling and that laptop gets stolen, um, while the person can't actually type in your password into the system, they can physically take the drive out and they can get into the data that way. Then if you have a cookies or something on there from like a financial website that hasn't expired yet or you have some other information where they can actually get into your data, it could be really bad. So it's really protecting against the fact that if someone tries to break into your computer and grab the data, that's one thing, but it's really, this is protecting you against physically taking the disk out. So let's say you're at a coffee shop, someone steals your laptop, they can't get into your computer, um, you know, before you can reset it, they yank the drive out and they have the data on that drive. This encryption will make sure that they need that password or that encryption code in order to access the data even if they have the drive. And therein lies the reason you turn on File Vault. That's really the main reason that's the difference between, you know, an encrypted drive where, you know, once they pull it out they can still get the data versus File Vault where they cannot. So that's the main difference. I wanted to clarify that just by face to face. What are the reasons why you want to enable File Vault on a Mac OS computer? Number one, you want the most secure computer. This protects against somebody physically removing the SSD and accessing the data that way. And it uses the XTS AES128 encryption. So you just want the, the most secure system you can have. Number two, computers with the T2 chip, including the M1 Max, they have hardware that accelerates basically the encryption. So there's no performance hits there. And the loading bar, there's a little bit of a loading bar at startup. You're going to notice it when it unlocks or decrypts the drive. And that's really all. But once it's in the actual software working, no performance hit. Number three, enforces you to always have a password at disk startup when turning on your computer, you know, outside of the timeout window. So this forces you to have best practice with security and you always need a password to log on. Number four, it encrypts the entire disk at once, all the data. So you don't have to individually encrypt partitions or disk images. And then number five, it's just good overall for business laptops where the data is very highly sensitive, or if you store financial records, it gives you that extra level of security on there. So those are five good reasons to do it. All right, why may you not actually enable File Vault? And there's some reasons a lot of people ask me, why wouldn't you want to do it? Well, number one, if you have an older Mac without the T2 chip or with spinning hard drives, not an SSD, but a spinning hard drive, it's going to take a little bit of a performance hit when you're actually using the computer. Also, it could take a few hours to encrypt the entire drive on slower computers. So that's number one. Number two, you're bad at remembering your password or recovery key. If you forget both, you will lose all of your data. You can't recover it. So, you know, if you store the backup in a safe place, we're all adults. You should have a good backup and stuff. Also, make sure you have good backup in place of your data. But anyways, that's one reason if you're really bad at that. <laughs> Number three, if you don't have a laptop and you only have a desktop, you might not want to do this. A lot of people say, well, because obviously they have to physically get the disk, but someone could basically physically steal the actual drive. They can, you know, home robbery or something could still happen on a desktop like an iMac or something. So this isn't the best reason, but that's one reason, I guess, if you, if you have no laptops but only a desktop, it might be a reason why you don't have to do this, but I don't recommend that. Number four, could make data impossible to recovery, you know, to recover. And we know that. I mean, have a good DR backup plan. And that's basically what we always say. Make sure you back up your data. That's you need that when you actually set this up. Number five, can't have auto login any longer. So you always need a password when booting up the drive. And again, that's a positive too in case someone just tries to log into your computer without stealing the drive. It's always going to require a password, which is really good best practice. And then finally, number six, if you're not available for various reasons, let's say you have an illness or something and your family can't access your computer and they can't take the disk and get the data, maybe they're like maybe your will's on there or something, you know, have a have a plan with your family and you know, give them the actual recovery code or something like that. So if you, if that's a problem, maybe you know, may not want to do this because there's no really way you can get in to see that data. But again, that's the whole reason for setting it. So just have a backup plan in place. All right, so File Vault. It's one of those things where you definitely want to turn it on just in case you're on a laptop or something, or even in your house where you might have your, you know, your computer gets stolen. People can't log in through the password if they don't know it, but they can take the drive out. And this is kind of protecting you against that, where they can get into the drive by actually physically taking the drive out of the computer. While they can't log in directly into it, they can take that drive and get the data off of it. So File Vault prevents that. 
The issue with File Vault is if you're not good with passwords and you forget your password or you forget your key, you know, your beep out of luck, as I say. So you have to make sure you keep that stuff in a safe place. Also, if you're, you know, if you, let's just say you're an older person and you have files that maybe your family needs or something and you passed away or something to that effect, you know, obviously no one else could get into the system without that password. So you got to plan things out in advance. Um, you know, you never know what can happen. And if it's important stuff for the family or something, make sure everyone has access to it. Um, beyond that though, it's just great security to have and I always recommend turning it on. The newer Macs don't really have any down, you know, it, it takes maybe a couple seconds in the load time, but beyond that there's no really degradation to anything else. So with all this information and everything I can gather, it is a good idea to turn it on even on the new M1 Macs. I, I, you know, I recommend it, I do it on all my systems and I think you should too. So let me know what you think in the comments, you know, what do you agree with, what don't you agree with? And then, at, you know, we'll just kind of wrap this up and I'll hopefully we'll get some discussion going in the comments and we can figure out what everyone thinks. But I'm pretty sure this is, you know, this is what it is and this is actually how you should use it, you know, best case. So let me know what you think. We'll talk to you soon until the next video. Peace.